Pangolin has been considered as an intermediate host in coronavirus and therefore has been in news and very very important for this time. It was believed that coronavirus spread initially from bats, pangolin was an intermediate host and finally to human beings. So understanding this whole story of pangolin is really really interesting. Coming on to what pangolins are. They are confused with being a reptile because they have scales but it's interesting they are the only mammals that have scales. They are nocturnal that means they are visible and appear during the night. They live solitary that means they do not live in groups. There are two continents where eight species of pangolins are found, four of which are found in Africa and four of which in Asia. It's interesting that all the four species of Africa are under vulnerable category of IUCN classification, while all four species of Asia, which is the Indian pangolin, Chinese pangolin, Sunda pangolin and Philippines pangolin are critically endangered that means they are very close to extinction if proper mechanisms to save them are not adopted at right time. But some of the very interesting facts about pangolin, they roll themselves into a ball with spines in order to protect them from predators. Lion is one of the major predators and they even hide their face. Another interesting thing is they do not have teeth. If they do not have teeth, how do they chew and digest the food? So their stomach has keratinous spines and they have gravel that helps digest the food. Again, uh, one of the very interesting facts about pangolin is there is a lot of illegal trade that is associated with pangolin. In fact, it is the most illegally traded wild mammal which is present and the major areas where it is traded is China and Vietnam. Now they are traded for three basic reasons. First is they are served as meat a delicacy in the regions of China and Vietnam. The second is the scales which are made up of keratin similar to our nails are highly proteinous are made of protein compounds and therefore are used to treat various disorders ranging from asthma to arthritis and is therefore used in traditional Chinese medicine system. The next important reason they are traded is for leather. So the leather of pangolin is used for various purposes, boots, bags and so on. This whole trade which has come under the convention of international trade in endangered species called as SIDS have been very very important in news these days. It's believed that in past one decade you had an illegal trade of nearly 1 million pangolins that had been registered of which 2019 alone accounts for nearly 0.2 uh, million trade for the pangolin that is seen. Again, as we said, there is very, very interesting finding about the scale. The scales of pangolin that are seen are nearly half within the body and half outside the body. At the region closer to the tail of the pangolin, they are nearly 90 degrees and upright in order to protect them from any kind of predators that are seen. Uh, another important concept is they are a unique mammal which are ant eaters and termite eaters their tongue is longer than their body it's usually 40 centimeters and more and they can move their tongue deep into the burrows and the four limbs have longer and uh, bigger claws in order to duck the burrow and uh, get the ants and the termite and therefore they are interestingly known as farmers friend so they help keep the farm clean now, what are the areas where we find most of the pangolins are given here? We have already talked about some of the major features for uh, the pangolin, the illegal trafficking that has occurred for pangolins. So, who have been working forward with this? So, it's the World Wildlife Fund, traffic and they are together moving for coalition to end the wildlife trafficking 
online and this is one of the major actions that have been taken place where the actual volume of the pangolins that is traded and what is quoted is very very different it's believed that only 10 percent of what actually happens is recorded and there is where we have a huge gap between the theory and the practical scenarios again there are some very interesting facts about pangolins uh, one of the very interesting fact about pangolin is the pangolins from the region of asia usually walk however the african pangolins have a capability to climb so that is again very very different and interesting phenomena that we come across pangolin day has been celebrated every third saturday of february uh, and this time it was 15 february in 2020 where the world pangolin day has been celebrated the declining number of pangolins has been a great concern and in India it is protected under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. In the state of Madhya Pradesh in India you have radio uh, tracking of all the pangolins that has been done and this is an act to protect the illegal poaching of the pangolin along with understanding their ecology and how and where they live. The next important thing is the difference between the Indian pangolin and Chinese pangolin. Now India is home to both the Indian pangolin as well as the Chinese pangolin. The only difference is the presence of terminal scales on the ventral side of the tail which is seen in the Indian pangolin but is absent in the Chinese pangolin. Similarly the pangolins form burrow and those are based on two things one is the feeding burrow the other is the living burrow the living burrows are much more circular much more deeper so that light cannot actually uh, affect the region and the feeding burrows are relatively smaller they are mainly developed during the spring periods so that is one of the major differences that is seen now in indian pangolins the unique characteristic is since they are found only on the ground what is very very important is most of the arid and the semi-arid areas the northeast india and the high himalayan areas are the areas where you have most of the pangolins that are seen so with this we cover the basics of pangolin we will be covering many interesting topics Stay tuned. Have a wonderful day.